Hi there, so today I want to talk about um, some materials that you can use to help you, you know, train yourself to become a barefoot trimmer. Um, for me, uh, the resources I have is I have a professional barefoot trimmer uh, who's excellent and everything. I have him as a professional that's going to overlook my work and also Lasser's chiropractor is going to overlook and, and all that. And so I have professionals backing me up. Uh, because I don't trust myself and then um, I the first thing I did was for the first like 10 weeks All I did was look at his hooves constantly now I've owned him for you know almost 10 years and Had two horses before that I've seen hooves. I know the basic anatomy I'm also an RVT and we studied hooves um, in school and you know, I trimmed um, goat sheep and and uh, stuff like that and you know so I learned in school um, didn't learn you know how to do equine feet hooves but um, I learned some in school I'm, I'm not a total newbie but what there's a difference between you know seeing the hoof and really looking at the hoof and getting that feel yeah. that feel is the whole magic behind everything any anytime you you really want to master something you need that feel um, education and facts can only get you so far and feel is is where the real magic occurs and what separates the masters from you know everyone else um, so so yeah the first 10 weeks was just getting the feel getting my muscle uh, memory on how to rasp and you know getting my back and my hands and and arms and all that and, and holding the hoof between my legs and I also have a hoof jack so using the hoof jack and training lacerre um, and, and all that. So that was like the first 10 weeks. And then, you know, look, glossing at material online and stuff, but not really taking anything too seriously. And then once I, I had a good feel and I had theories developed on, um, on the hoof and what Lacerre's hoof was doing, then I started looking for material that kind of matched up with my feel. And, uh, so Pete Ramey came highly, highly recommended. I think everyone in the barefoot world knows the, this name. And so I went ahead and um, I ordered this at first and I didn't get anything else. Then after watching this, this is excellent. It gives the basics and, and how to build from there. So after watching this, I was like, you know what? I really, really like this guy. It's 10, 10 discs in here and so I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the whole set the whole combo package so in the combo package then this book is excellent and it has tons of information um, and it's it's all it's all stuff about how to build the horses hooves from the inside out you know how the diet and exercise and and all the stuff uh, all affects and influences good hoof health and then it also gives lots of pictures and stuff like that so this is an excellent workbook you know you, you study you got to have a workbook um, Say, Mama. you got to have a textbook so here's that and then this is the base basics all the basics this i'm going to watch over and over and over and over again until it, i absolutely have everything memorized well actually the same with all of them but um it's because every time you watch something or hear something, you know, like like Pete says, he'll say a hundred things, and then the person will only remember three of those. Um, for me, it's probably closer to one. So I'm going to watch this, watch all the other ones, and then go back and do it again. And hopefully, after I've watched it a hundred times and picking up one at a time each time, then I'll finally start. <laughs> to know a little bit right so then uh this is great for basics then this one in the trenches this is great for because uh when he's over here saying okay this is how you do something and don't do this and then this one he's going to come back and say okay remember when i said don't do this well here are the exceptions on when you would do that and he goes over some of you know some problems and stuff like that so um Seeing the exceptions and all the different factors and all that that is invaluable and it really drives It exceptions doesn't weaken a point it strengthens the main point Yeah, um, and strengthens your 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 understanding and knowledge of the thing 
So then um, I got this one off the track thoroughbred because that's Lacerre. And sure enough, Lacerre's hooves was very much like this. And, you know, I definitely could learn a lot from this. It, you know, it was, it was like um, having Pete talk to me about Lacerre's hooves. And then I got this one, the Hanoverian. I watched this one and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not, it probably doesn't apply to us. But actually, surprisingly, it does because he's talking about bilateral navicular pathology and um, the high-low horse. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And Lacerre actually is a high-low horse. And actually, it was very interesting because this horse um, had an injury on its, its hind and it none of the experts this owner spent over fourteen thousand dollars trying to diagnose and get this horse um sound to the point uh, and it all failed to the point that they were gonna have to put this horse down and um and then pete came into the picture and pete saved the day but um but basically the stuff that baffled all of the experts here including pete lacerre has that in the opposite hoof which Pete says in the video is extremely rare to have the high the high hoof on the on the um, left leg, but Lacerre does. And so, anyways, it's very very interesting. This actually totally applied to Lacerre, and so I was like, okay, yeah, wow, uh, great. You know, I'm glad I I got this. And then um, the draft horse, I was like, yeah, that's definitely probably the least applicable to us. But actually, it was very applicable. It was very interesting to see how weight, the weight and all that affects and the difference of the draft horse hooves. And also the draft horse has thin soles and severe wall flares, weak frogs and wall cracks. And that's exactly what Lacerre has as well. And so that was definitely useful. And then I was like, okay, of all the ones, this one is going to be the least applicable, donkey hooves. But actually, it turns out this one is one of the best, best uh, DVD sets because he actually goes into detail with cadaver hooves and he has the donkey hoof next to the horse hoof. And then he really shows um, the, the importance of the the importance and the relevance of using the collateral grooves as an indicator for sole depth instead of having to dig out the sole to the live sole um, every single time, which he doesn't dig out sole, and I really like that. I don't want to be digging out sole because I have a horse that is very, very thin sole. So um, when, at the end of the day, every single one of this was absolutely critical and applicable to Lacerre. Um, Lacerre's hooves, every single, <laughs> I think, I think Lacerre has, uh, okay, don't let me, don't get me started. He's, he's, he's got a ton of issues and um, he's, he's totally baffled experts all throughout the years. And, and now I'm starting to see why. It's because he's got problems from all these different sort of things and it's going to take someone who is going to combine all the problems that a horse can have and put it into one and that's Lacerre and um, so so that is now my my challenge I'll have to go deeper into all these to try and, and fix him and so you know when when I talk about stuff um, with Lacerre you'll see me work really really um conservatively and one it's because i'm a newbie you know i'm coming into this fresh and new so of course i'm not going to do anything as as uh, drastic as a master because i don't know what the hell i'm doing um and then the second reason is because i believe that well he has thin soles i believe he actually had the descent of p3 and i know he has um <clears throat> has laminitis or he had laminitis with um his extremely um his his wall flares and all that um so i i'm pretty sure he has all of these issues and because of that then um, i'm going to be very conservative in my changes with him to you know bring that back nice and slow also, um, if you remember my last video when I was talking about the hooves and I showed the hooves, 
then you'll see that he had developed those big calluses by the toe and all the way around. Um, I think that, you know, those calluses was to protect something, right? Well, it's to that area is a toe, so it's protecting the toe. Why? Because I think he started having descent of P3. And um, he definitely had the, the uh, thin soles and all that, and so that's why the callus came up, flared up right away and said, here, let's protect uh, P3. Um, that's why I'm not going to take those calluses off. But anyways, um, these... These materials are awesome and I would totally recommend it and don't stop just because it says Hanoverian and donkey like I almost did um, I, I almost think they shouldn't have even said that they should have focused more on this stuff because that's what that's what the DVDs actually teach you um, it really has nothing to do with the, the breed and stuff like that well you know what I mean um, but like I almost didn't want to get these ones because I was like, well, you know, I don't have a Hanoverian, I don't have a draft, I don't have a donkey, but um, but getting these and seeing it, it helped tremendously. So there you go. Um, hope you have great luck in your journey as well into barefoot. Uh, I'm definitely not stopping here. You know, still branching out more. There's a lot more information and data out there still so um dive into all of it but every time i find something really good then i'll try to you know um uh, share that with you guys so it, it'll you know help with your search and hopefully you know you guys can do that back to me and point me in the right direction of some of the good stuff out there all right i'll talk to you later bye guys